Hi, I want you to listen to this. All right, so today we're diving into some uh, some pretty intense political drama happening over in Kenya. Yeah. We're talking potential power struggles, accusations flying left and right. Lots of accusations. Oh, yeah. And it's all playing out in this citizen digital piece you sent over. It's a fascinating situation. It really is. It really makes you think about the nature of power. It does. So the article really focuses on the drama between Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua and President William Ruto. Right. Once allies now publicly feuding. Seems to be a theme. Right. And Gachagua is even suggesting there are impeachment plots against him. Wow. Yeah. Before we even get into the current drama, okay. could you give us a little context on Kenya's current political scene? Absolutely. Who are these major players and what's the history behind this feud? So William Ruto, he became president relatively recently. Okay. And he chose Rigathi Kachagua as his deputy. Okay. Now, what's really interesting here is that Kachagua's current situation, yeah. it mirrors Ruto's own time as deputy president mm. under former president Uhuru Kenyatta. Oh, wow. There were tensions back then, power struggles, you know. Yeah. It's almost like history is... Now, it's so easy to think that I'm listening to a podcast by two Europeans discussing Kenyan politics. But no, this is all AI. I know. Let me explain. Now, all this is a product of Notebook LM, the AI-powered research tool by Google. Now, Notebook LM has gotten a new upgrade, and you can now turn material into podcast-style discussions, download them, and listen to them on the go. The new feature is called Audio Overview, and it's available for all Google users globally. The article you just had the two podcast hosts discuss is a citizen digital piece by my colleague Moses Kinyanjui about the reported tension between Kenya's President William Ruto and his deputy, Rigathi Gashagwa. So now you can feed the AI assistants with documents, slides, charts, web pages and all of that and get that bulky material summarized into an episode that you can download and listen to on the go. This whole thing takes less time than you would actually imagine. You just go to NotebookLM, whose address is notebooklm.google.com, create a new notebook, add at least one source. These are the links and documents we just talked about. And at the top right hand corner of your notebook guide, you click the generate button. Moses' article is 986 words and we got 13 minutes of audio and as you've heard, the AI tool tries to make sense of and draw connections between the topics covered in the material that you feed it. At some point, the AI characters were even discussing about how Gashagua did not hold back in the explosive TV interview that he did with Citizen TV and how in the Mount Kenya region, influence is such a central thing in the overall Kenyan politics. However, at the moment, there's no option of choosing the number of speakers you want alongside other attributes like gender, age, language, and also accent. You can also not set the length of the discussion. Also, Google says the product is still in its experimental phase and one should expect errors. Therefore, they should independently fact check the results. So, what do you think these new AI capabilities mean for the future of podcasting? Should the industry be worried? How about those in research who have to go through large chunks of information? Tell us in the comments below.